Hi, it's Terry from the Builder All team, and I'm back again with another video in the Builder Website series. In this training, we're going to work on the last two banners that we have for this fruit shop anchor page. We're going to add a location map to the banner. We're going to customize the footer. We're going to add and customize an email subscription form. And we're going to create a mailing boss subscriber list so we have some place to send all the information we gather when our visitors sign up using this email subscription form. So we have a lot to learn. Let's get in there and get busy. It's really easier than you think. We're here on the original fruit shop website because I'll bet you know the drill. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to take a look at the next banner that we're going to be building, the location banner. We want to take a look at it, and it looks pretty easy. It looks like we only have the banner and two elements. We have a title in that gray title text that we've been using. I'm going to copy that right now, although I think I can remember location. <laughs> and then we have our location map right here, and it's on a slightly grayed out background so we can easily distinguish it from the banner above it and below it I see so let's head back to the editor and get building this website you're going to see how easy this really is and how quickly we can add this feature onto our fruit shop website so let's get building so we come to Google Maps here we can search for an address or put the address in. That's probably what you would be doing in this instance. But let's let's just let's just search for Builder All in Orlando. Right there it is. And click on that. That brings up that map. And we can then find right here, down here on the card, is a share button. So we can click that. It pops up the card of this location and gives you either send a link or this is what we want embed a map we need the embed code so that gives you a picture of the map you come up here to copy html copy it to your clipboard now we can go back to the editor and embed this into our website back on our page we can see our html box it's highlighted right here so we know right where it is on the page. We're going to right click, go to edit, and this box, the HTML box, is what we're working in right now. You see, if we come down here, we would be adding a link, but we're going to work in the HTML. Now let's learn another quick shortcut. I'm going to put my cursor right in the middle of my HTML box there. And I'm going to hit a quick code. Since I'm on a PC, I'm hitting Control A. So Control A. That highlights everything in the box at once. And you can use that in other fields as well. It's either Control A for the PC or Command A for the Mac. But we've got everything highlighted now. So now I can paste it with our quick codes. I can paste that code right directly into the HTML box. So that makes it really, really fast. Now I'm going to hit confirm. That puts our map in the box. Now we have the map inside the box. We need to make it a little larger. You can see it's not big enough and taller. Okay, that looks like that's got the map all the way in the box. But can you see it's left justified? It's all the way over here on the left. So if I click on this HTML box and center it, it's still not centered. 
So we're going to fix that. And, and don't be worried. This is really, really easy. So we're going to right click. We're going to go up here to edit. And that brings up our HTML box again. The very first thing that I want you to do is go all the way to the beginning. Put your cursor in at the beginning there. So put your cursor in and let's make another space. So just hit enter. And do you see that made another space? This is on line two now and we have a line one. So let's come back here and get on line one. And we're going to type in something really, really easy. We're going to type in the less than symbol, then the word center, and then the greater than symbol. That is the code that tells the software that we want the next piece of code, the map, centered in the middle of this box. Now the way that we HTML works is now we need to go back to the end of this second line of code, put our cursor in at the very end and create another space, a line three, because now we have to tell the computer that everything above it is centered. It has to have a way of commanding the code to stop the centering. So we're going to again put in our less than symbol but this time we're going to do a forward slash and the word center and the greater than symbol. That's all there is to it. So we hit confirm and now we have the box centered. Now we have the map, I don't know if you can see that on the gray background, centered in the box. So we can right click the map itself, the HTML box and center the element and that's going to center it beautifully on the page. Now, wasn't that easy? So if you've never, ever done anything with code before, you can now tell everybody you're a code monkey. So let's activate our HTML box, maybe pull it up just a bit. Although that did bring our banner up a little bit. Let's check it out in preview mode. And oh, yes. We did it. Now that was fast, wasn't it? So let's return to edit. Let's save our work. Save again. Our best friend, save. And now we're ready to move on to the footer. So let's go take a look at the footer on the original website and plan our work for this final banner on our page. Let's take a look at the original footer here before we start building the final banner on our website, our footer. Now it's a red, of course, in our Firebrick red. We have the logo. We have a paragraph here underneath it. Below that we have, it looks like the copyright information. Next to it, a contact us section, a column, that has our location, hours of operation, the same information that we had in the header. Here we have a menu, only this time it's vertical. We have another social media network bar down here and an email subscription form with a paragraph below it. So we know what we need to build. Let's get back there and get to editing our footer. Down here on the header, we'll, the first thing we'll do is change the color. So we want to right click, go to appearance, come to the footer here and click on the gear. That brings up the card. We can come to colors and down here on background color, we're going to choose the square and choose our color that we saved. Okay. And we can close that. So now we have the color properly embedded in our footer. The next thing we want to put on the footer is probably the logo. But remember, we have that. We can get a copy of that right up here. So we're going to come up here and highlight the logo and copy it and then paste it. 
So we can drag that down now. And we'll just keep dragging it and drag some more all the way down the page. Let's go ahead and put our grid line in there. There we go. And we can put that logo right there. Maybe we'll make it just a bit smaller. Now let's go back to the site and copy our paragraph that goes underneath it. So we'll copy our text to our clipboard, head back to the site, and paste it in. So we need a text box. Let's grab a text box real quick. Up there in the text, let's use, how about the body medium? Close out of that. Puts our, it drops it on our map. Let's move it down. We'll select our text. Paste that text we just copied on our clipboard right in there. We need to highlight it again, make sure it's highlight, highlighted, and make it white. So we'll choose white. Now we can make it the appropriate size. That looks about right. We're going to need to make our footer a little bigger. So let's do that. There we go. Shrink our logo just a bit. Shrink our box. So that leaves enough space for our copyright information right here. So let's go back and grab that. Let's copy our text right here. And now we can head back to paste it into our footer. So we already have a text box here. So let's go ahead and copy that and then paste it and pull it on over here and we can double click paste our text into that text box make it white oops choose white okay now we can pull this box out till it's on one line and move it right below that paragraph. So now we can move that down to the edge. We know how much of can make our logo a little bigger like it was. I think that looks about right. So we can adjust our paragraph snug up against this. And you can play around with this. It's a good idea to play around with it till you get it just the way you want it. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to justify this on both sides. I think I will. So I'm going to double click and select it all and choose that. Oh yes, that looks so much better. So we have that much done. Now let's go back to the original website and take a look at what we want to tackle next. We have this first column done. Looking at this footer, we have this section done. Now let's see what we have to build from here on over. We have three columns. They have the titles. We have a contact us, menu, email subscription. So we need three titles. We have our information. We have that in our header so we can copy and paste those. We have the menu, which we haven't created yet, but we'll leave a space for that. We have the email subscription form itself, a paragraph, and our network bar, social network bar, which we've already created, so we can copy and paste that as well. So really, looking at this, we don't have a lot to create new on our footer. We can copy this while we're here and then we'll have a contact us menu and email subscription titles to put in so let's go back and do that now we have that paragraph on our clipboard so let's go ahead and create a text box and get that off our clipboard since we have this paragraph here i'm just going to copy and paste it so i'm going to select it copy paste i'm going to drag that over and i'm going to select everything in it paste our text in it select it change the text to white click white 
Click OK. There's that paragraph. We had three titles. We had Contact Us, Menu, and Email Subscription. Come up here to the plus and add a text box. This time let's choose Title Medium, the H3. That looks about right. So we can click out of that and bring that title right down into our footer. Let's go ahead and double click. Select that text and let's see, the first one was Contact Us. So we'll go ahead and get that in there. Select it again. And turn it to white. Click OK. We can shorten that now. Move it over here a little bit. And so we have our first title. Let's copy it and paste it twice. Title there. And we need a title here. Let's change this to the menu. And this is email subscription. We'll need to make this one larger. Place these roughly where they need to be. Actually, we want them pretty close to the top of that footer because this is how people are going to find these things. And we want it nice and condensed. So let's position those right up there. We can move them down here in a minute. I want to make sure we leave room for our social media bar and our other things first. And you want to get these roughly positioned wherever you think they might be. The next thing we need to do is get our information here for our contact us. And remember, we have those on the header. So let's go grab those. We'll scroll up, copy it and paste it. Let's bring it down. And once you get it placed where you want it, we're going to go back up and get the next text box. So we'll get this one here and we'll make a copy of it. Bring it down, place it in your footer. Now we'll go up and grab that last one for our contact us. Over here, the information. Make a copy. And bring that copy down. Just bring it right in here and deposit it wherever you want. We can figure out exactly what order we want those in. I think that's the way it was though. So we'll want to line these up roughly. Now we'll leave this space open for our menu. We have our paragraph. We need our social media bar. Let's go get that one. So we'll select it. We're going to copy it and paste it. And let's bring this one down just a little bit further. And we can place it on this side. And that's probably too narrow. We can make this a little wider. Move this over a little bit and up and move this down. Because we want to make room now for our form that's going in here for our email subscriptions. So let's just roughly position this. Now we need our email subscription form. So we come up here to the plus again. We're going to come down here. and This time we're going to choose our email marketing form. Click here and that brings up our email marketing form card, our menu, and we have several different kinds of forms here. Um, I'm just going to pick the top one here because it really doesn't matter. We're going to pull it down in, here into the footer. We're going to get an alert that says, please configure the information of your email marketing email, which means we, we will have to get the email marketing information into our website and associated with this page for this to work. But we can close out of that right now. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Before we 
change the appearance of this and change the text and get it looking just exactly the way we want we have to go into mailing boss and set up our list so we can customize these fields specifically for this form and that way when our visitors submit this form all that information will be sent to the appropriate list where we can use it so let's head over to mailing boss and i'll show you how to do that once you're in mailing boss access mailing boss here and that takes you to your mailing boss account we're going to come up here to workflow i'm going to name this workflow fruit shop this is our workflow area where we can do lots of things including create a new list so once i get my name fruit shop in there i'm going to click save so we have a workflow name and i'm see down here in the list i'm going to highlight this until it turns gray like this and then i'm going to pull a list right out here into my workspace now i'm going to click on this pencil that's going to bring up a card where I can either choose from lists that I have already made or I can create a new list. I'm going to create a new list. So click on that and I can name this list Fruit Shop. I'm just going to use that for the display name and I'll also use it for the description. Down here in opt-in, I'll set that to double opt-in and on opt out i'll set that to double opt out and click create here on this create edit list fields i'm going to click on this and we're going to check this out because remember on the email marketing form that we have on our original site it only had the email field so i want to check that to make sure that that's all we have on that form so I'll click here and here it brings up the current list and the fields we can see we only have one and it's the email so if I wanted to add more fields like if I were really needing more information or designing a different form I could do that here but we don't need that today so I'm going to just save changes now we're going to go back up here and click on design that brings us back to our workflow area and I wanted to let you know you can also add your email sequences if that's what you wanted to do right now you can do that right here from your workflow area you can set up your autoresponder emails your sequences and everything right here in this wonderful workflow area but we're not going to do that in this training today we're just going to focus on how to connect this list to the form that we put in the footer we're going to go back to the editor now and i'll show you how to connect our list with the form on our page we're back here looking at the footer and here's our email subscription form so we're going to right click and we're going to choose configure now this brings up a card where you can connect with any of these email clients we're going to choose mailing boss the email client that's included with your builder all account it will bring up all the lists you have in your account now i'm going to choose the fruit shop and now that configures and connects this form to the list we just made in mailing boss it's as easy as that of course our form is not looking the way we it does on the original site and we've got some work to do there so let's go ahead and right click and choose appearance and we're going to come right over here and click our gear and we're not going to do anything to the label styles but let's check here on the form field styles um, let's see we have the border color 
let's move on down here because I would kind of like, I'd like to make this space just a little bit smaller. So let's work on that, the field spacing. That looks pretty good. And uh, we need to make the corners. They're fairly rounded there. Let's, let's try. Now, I don't think I want any shadow. There's no shadow on there. Uh, let's come up here. Next, let's work on this button. So let's come over here and choose the style of button. And let's crease the, ooh, the space from the top. Let's make it go all the way across. I do want that to go all the way across. But I think we need a smaller font size. Let's try that because there we go. See, that's much better. That's much better. Now here on the style of button, let's change our color. So we're going to click on the orange. And we're going to change it to that green. But now we want to come down here and we also want to alter our corners and round those. So we'll do 15 again. Close that. Now we do need to change what the button reads. And we're going to right click, come to button. And right here it says text button. We're going to change get your free stuff today. We're going to change that to subscribe today and click confirm. So now we can move our button right over here, right in its space. I think we could even make it just a little bit wider actually. So let's do that and bring it all the way to the edge. Get everything aligned where it's nice and even. Now, the only thing we have left is align this up a little better, I think. Let's move this grid line. We've got that lined up nicely. Let's move this up over here and let's place a grid line over here, pull our contact us down, and click it into that, click it into this grid line, pull menus down, and click it right into place, pull email subscription down, right into place. I think we can stand to pull this down a bit as well as our form because we need to pull our there we go now we can bring in mind all the time things as evenly spaced as possible now the only thing we have left to do is create our menu so we've really accomplished a lot let's remove our grid lines let's remove our ruler let's take a look See what it looks like in preview mode. That looks really good. So let's return to edit because we've been working very hard. Let's save our work. Save again. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned a lot. We certainly covered a lot. We added a location map to our banner with the HTML app right into the body of our page. We customized the footer, and we even customized an email subscription form and created a Mailing Boss subscriber list. So now we have a list to gather all the information when a visitor submits our form. Again, we covered a lot in very little time. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.